Soaps are outrageous. Reality's heightened a little bit. Romance. Passion. Fantasy. Very beautiful people. Have problems. And great clothes. The clothes. Great clothes. Exactly. One summer in the country, sailing, hardly any wind, Matthew smiling, and the warmth of the sun in my hair. Mm. I was so happy then. I feel like that now. Yeah. Mm. And once sitting on a balcony, watching the sunset, the sea turned pink and silver. Where was that? Greece, a little island. With Jim? Mm -hmm. It's all right. I had times like that with Mayor. Picnic once. A dozen balloons soaring into the sky. The sky like was painted blue. But you know what's beautiful now? You. I love you, Rose. I feel very lucky. Oh. Who would have guessed the day you walked into Pearson Pierce? I didn't walk into Pearson Pierce. You walked into Pearson Pierce. I was talking to Matt, and he said that his partner might have some time for me, and then you showed with coffee. And you thought I was the secretary. I couldn't take my eyes off you. But you thought I was the secretary. For about three minutes until you straightened me out. You still didn't think I could handle Joe Novak, and I did. If you ever handle Joe Novak or even consider it, I'll kill you. <laughs> <laughs> to think it was Joe Novak who brought us together. It's Maeve. Oh, hello, Joseph. The fellow out there said their kitchen might be closed. Was he right? Oh, of course not. We serve till we lock up. Who, who said that to you? Johnny. Well, I would settle for a corned beef sandwich. Well, the only thing we're out of is lamb. Other than that, everything that's on the menu is there. I'll only be a second. I'll tell Siobhan you're here. Thanks. Oh, sorry, I thought you were through with that part. I am. Okay. For you, from me. <sighs> Joseph, it isn't my birthday. I want to be friends. Please. I thank you. Oh. Oh, my. Well, they say a cook can never have too many knives. I hope that's true. Oh. Oh, they're wonderful. Hold out your hand. Yes, ma'am. One, two, three, four. There. <laughs> you see, where I come from, there's the tradition that you must never accept a gift of knives or anything sharp unless you, you pay for each one with a penny. Or else, well, it, it, it's bad luck. Well, what kind of bad luck? Well, you become enemies with the person that giving you the gift. Well, I thank you. I'm glad you like them. They don't rust if you take good care of them. Oh, <laughs> it's well worth the effort, mind you. Carbon steel, oh, it makes the finest edge. Well, stainless knives belong in magazine pictures, not in the kitchen. That's what Tisa always used to say. Yes, well, I, uh, I thank you very much. I'll uh, get you back. Take a look at this one for filleting. Yes, I'm sure it'll come in very handy. Thanks again. Maeve, I'm going to keep these pennies so we will never be enemies. Joseph, you're a very charming, winning man. And it's very difficult to resist. My daughter is having a lot of trouble. And I will understand why.
The day after Thanksgiving, hang out with Lisa and Ty. It's soap talk around the clock.